What's up, guys? It's Jay. Morning after kill. And one of the biggest revelations we got in Borderlands 3 was a warning in an audio log from Nereid. A long lost siren who was the previous phase leech power holder before Tyrene. And she locked herself in a vault on Necro de Feo after using her phase leech powers to leech the life force from the Iridian civilization to power the machine that imprisoned the destroyer. And she reveals, I must pass one more warning. You must never find the seventh. And I've watched a lot of lore vidges over the last past few years that go into detail saying how the phase leech power is the seventh siren power, and Nereid felt that it was too dangerous to be left out in the universe. But no one points out the inconsistency that you have to literally open the vault that she locked her powers away in to collect all of the glyphs before you get her final warning. Which kind of proves that Phase Leech isn't the seventh siren power. Like, it kind of defeats the purpose of putting a warning inside the box. Like, you open up the box and it's like, there's a bomb in here. You're like, oh shit. <laughs> By the time that you find a warning, it's way too late. And that makes no sense to me. Also, if we go ahead and rewind time all the way back to Borderlands 2, there's an audio log from Handsome Jack which has contradicting information. Only six sirens can exist in the universe at any given time and I already know of three. You're not going to convince me you happen to find one of the remaining three just by drawing blue tattoos on some random chick's corpse. Now I, I know that Necro Tefeo is uncharted and unmapped within the universe. But Jack also has a daughter who's a siren. A siren that controls technology and pretty much astral project herself wherever the fuck she wants. I think it would be fair to say that Angel has seen these glyphs left by Nereid and is also how Jack knows so much about the Destroyer, Pandora, and Siren lore. Now I'd also like to direct your attention to the ending of Borderlands 2. When Lilith goes to destroy the key, a map pops up with vault locations marked all over the map. And there's six locations to be exact. And I personally believe that each vault location is actually an imprisoned ancient threat to the universe much like the Destroyer. And each of these threats themselves are specifically tied to each Siren and their individualized power. So if we have this map showing you six volts, and then we have Jack telling you that we have six Sirens in the universe, what exactly is the seventh? I believe that while Nereid was imprisoned in the Destroyer, she received a vision of timeline events, just like Jack did at the end of the pre-sequel, showing the Siren bloodline being perverted by a male carrier, Troy. And because he was conjoined to Tyrene at birth, he is also able to leech Siren powers for himself. And is immediately immensely powerful with them. Being able to phase lock Elpis to release the Destroyer. Forcing Lilith to phase walk the moon to another location. Awakening even more vault monsters that have been sealed away by past sirens in other civilizations. And Troy is the catalyst to all of this, the seventh, the perversion of sirens. And by locking herself away, 
she thought that she was stopping the events from playing out. But in actuality, by locking her powers in the same vault that Typhon the Leon opened and also happened to conceive a child inside, she unknowingly caused the events to play out exactly how they were prophesized in the timeline events that she saw while imprisoning the Destroyer. And by Troy phase locking the moon, that sets in motion the events that forced Lilith to move Elpis. And now, shit in the universe is about to hit the fan. And I think that's what the warning was about. Was about Troy perverting the Siren Sisterhood bloodline and setting in motion events that could damn near mean the end of the entire universe. So, my name is Jay. More than I have to kill, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you really thumbs up on a video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. But I want to know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Do you believe that there are actually seven sirens in the universe? Even though the alien technology itself mysteriously marked six locations out on the map. Like, I can understand Necro Tefeo not being on known maps, but you would think that the creators of this technology who existed well before Nereid even got her powers and decided to lock it away, you'd think that they would make sure that their recorded instructions are, are properly recorded in case the Destroyer breaks free again and they gotta, you know, figure out how to imprison that motherfucker one more time. Or do you think that the Seventh Siren, like I said, is, is more of just a prophetic warning that the appearance of an extra siren in the universe is a sign of bad things to come? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. My name's Jay. More than after kill. Thanks for watching. And I'm gonna see y'all motherfuckers later.